Hi there, and welcome to another screencast. My name is Mary, and in this tutorial, we're going to just pick up where we left off. Uh, this is part of the ongoing Modex Revolution uh, basics. In the last screencast, we explored the manager, and prior to that, we had done a local host install of Modex Revolution on MAMP. And so if you need to catch up, if you're just starting out with Modex and want to start from the very beginning, this is a good place to start. You can find this series at modexvideotutorials.com. So we have Modex installed. We've created a sandbox site on localhost, on our local development environments that we can experiment with and play around as we learn Modex revolution. And in the last screencast, like I said, we, we explored the manager and just sort of did a very rough overview, very basic, very sort of surface overview of all the different parts of the manager. Now, in today's screencast, in this screencast, we're going to start looking, start breaking that down into small bits and pieces and looking in more detail at specific areas of the manager. And we're going to keep doing that as we continue learning Modex Revo and building different sites or different elements of sites. Um, we're going to keep looking at different parts of the manager. And like I said in the last screencast, the best way I think that to learn how to use the manager is within the context of different tasks that you're doing. Right, so like I said, you can catch up at modexvideotutorials.com if you want to discuss this screencast or any other screencasts that um, are on that website, just go to modexvideotutorials.com slash forums, create a free account and jump right in. So here's our Modex Revolution um, manager backend. We haven't done much with this site, so if you're just joining us, you haven't missed much, just installing and, and having an overview. But today we want to sort of start making our site our site. You know, we sort of want to start doing things that that start building this as, as at the site that we want it to be. And the part that we're going to look at today is the system settings. For example, how do you how do you set the name of your website? You know, how do you um, you know set what the error page is going to be how do you how do you do these global sort of system wide settings on your site and where you'll find that is if you when you're in the manager if you go to system go to system settings and open that this is where you find this long list of of different settings and different things and it's about six pages worth of settings so it's a little overwhelming and again like we did in the last screencast we're not going to go over everything on this list it just, it would not be worth it. It would take too much time, be overwhelming, and, you know, probably wouldn't remember half of it. But the way I find, the best way I find to tackle these settings and to sort of look through them and to understand them is to filter by area. Now, you can see here we have filter by area. We have um, several, I mean, choices. We have filter by area. We have core. And right now, all we have here is core. And that's because we don't have much else going on. Our, our install is still pretty new. You'll find that when you install certain add-ons, they, they create their own, um, you know, they add their own entities to this list. And so you, you can further look at settings specific to certain add-ons. But right now, we're looking at settings that are specific to the core of Modex Revolution. Or you can search by key. But let's let's look at filter by area. And this is this is usually where I first go. Now, what I want to do is I want to set the title of my site. Okay. I'm going to assume that that is going to fall under sort of a you know general site settings area. If we look at the areas, there's authentication and security, they're really well named, you know, so you can sort of figure out wh what you're shooting for. Authentication and security, caching, rich text editor, file system. So you can see you sort of get an idea of, of where different things might be. If we come down here, I think it's the second to last one is site, and that's the one we're after right now. If you click on that and you look at this list and there's a number of, of settings here, there's 14 of them. All right. So there's menu indexing default, symlink merge fields, default template. All right, and all these, you know, what's the error page and so on. Now, the first one that I'm going for is site name. And, and up against all these, there's this little plus sign, which if you click on, explains or gives you a little brief, you know, tooltip, a little brief, not a tooltip, but a little tip, a little help uh, of what you're doing. So right now, site name is set to Modex Revolution. I can change that, and all I simply do is I double click, all right? And so I'm going to change this to be my Revel sandbox, right? And I press enter, and there it is. So now my site name is set to my Revel sandbox. 
if you look right here, this is the key. All right, this is the key right here. And so if I wanted to refer to this, and, and we're going to look at this later on when we, um, when we start talking about templates and stuff like that. If I wanted to refer to the site name, if I wanted the site name, for example, to appear in my title tag, I would use that key to call it into my template. And you're going to see that in a minute. All right, so what else can we do here? Um, good thing to do here is to set your error page. If somebody, you know, somehow ends up looking for something, a page, or, or navigating to a page that doesn't exist or a broken link, you want them to be taken to an error page. By default, Modex is set to take the uh, site visitor back to the st page that has an index of one. Mm -hmm. Now, we haven't really done anything. We haven't added any, any pages on our site. All we have is that one with an ID of one, and this is the ID they're referencing, the number in parentheses there in your resource tree. Remember that from the last screencast? All right, so later on, as we go on and we add pages, as soon as I add an error page, I'll come here and I'll just double click that and change that to the ID of my error page. All right, and then there's some, some here that are, you know, yes, no, um, do you want to auto menu index? Yes, you might want to do something different. This is another interesting one. Do you want any resource you create to be published by default? The default value is no, which means that when you create a new resource, it's not automatically published. The little checkbox that says published, I'll show you that. The um, If I come here and I go to, you know, say for example, I create a new document. Remember we saw these little icons yesterday that are, I mean in the last screencast that are the shortcuts. You can see that this published here is not checked. And that's because of that system setting that we just looked at that says it's not you know, resources will not be published by default when you create them. And so you have to, you know, publish them. Now that might be, you know, how you prefer to have things or you may want to have them published by default if you want them published by default. So for example, if I come here and I change that to yes, it gives me a drop box, I can select yes, okay. And if I now come back here and I create a new resource, you'll see that the checkbox there the published box is checked by default. So it's really your preference. Do you want them to be published by default or do you want them to be saved as drafts and then you go back in later and publish them? So those are the different things, um, different settings. Let's just go back there. On that site, um, site system settings. All right, um, same thing here with the default template. Right now, we only have, if you look at the site, if you if we look at the elements tree, under templates, there's only the base template that ships with Modex. Now this base template, we will look at it later, is very basic, has just the very basic tags in it, but you can see that it has um, an ID of one, and that's the default template because that's the only template that exists. Now you might find that when you create your site, you know, you, you have two or three templates, but you want one of those templates to be the one that whenever you create a new document, it's the one that's fixed it's your, most, of your, most of your documents are going to use that particular template. So you can come and set that here so that you don't have to, you know, have to pick it each time you create um, a new resource. And again, we're, you're going to see that in action as we continue to work. All right, so those are the main things here. Do you want to hide from menus by default? Again, it's the same thing. If, you, if we open, if we go to create a new resource, let's go to the resource tree there. And if you look down here, it says, you see the hide by menus, by default is not checked. I mean, hide from menus is not checked by default. You can set that to be checked by default. So for example, if you know, you've created all your pages and the only thing you're going to be creating from now on is blog posts that you don't want to appear on a menu, you can now go into the system settings and say, okay, hide from menus by default. And so every new blog post that you create, every new page resource that you create, which is assumed to be a blog post because everything else has been created, will be hidden from the menu. So those are just little things that um, you know you can think about as you're planning your site out um, and that can make your job easier. All right, so let's go back here. Uh, where is it? Site, system settings. So these are your, your, your um, your site, your general site settings, you know, what's your site and available page, same thing as the error page, you know, you might create a page that says, oh, you know, the site is currently unavailable, you know, um, please, you know, 
check back in two days or check back in a few hours. We're down for maintenance or, you know, the site is being revamped. We're redesigning or we didn't pay our hosting bill. Whatever you want your page to say, you can create a, a, a custom page um, for site and available. And again, you just enter the index there. If you want to just stay with a plain old page, then you can just leave that message there and, and it will pop up with just a blank page that says the site is currently unavailable and so on and so forth. So those are the general um, site settings and this is where you set those basic things. What's your site name, which we've just done? Do we want our resources to be published by default? Do we want them to be searchable? And so on and so forth. So that's just a brief overview of system settings and there are other settings. The main thing I wanted to show you is how to change them by double clicking on the value field, that's how you change them, and how to easily sort of sort through and, and see what what where a particular setting that you want might be hiding. So for example, you know, you might be thinking about okay, how how files are stored, you know, in in my site. And so you'd think, oh, that probably would be in the file system. And for sure it is. This is where you set all your manager paths and your resource paths and what kind of file types people can upload and stuff like that. And we're going to look at all of this as we go along. But for now, brief overview of system settings. Um, if you have any questions, please, like I said, create a free account at Modex Video Tutorial Forums and go ahead and ask away. And in the next um, screencast, we're going to continue. We've set up, you know, we've sort of started laying down the foundation and setting the basics. What we're going to do in the next screencast is we're going to very quickly look at how to install packages, where to find them, how to know which packages you want and how to install them. And then we're going to start, you know, playing with our site and, and building it up. And that's coming up in the next screencast. So stay tuned and thank you for watching.